Yeah. Oil Country Engineering is going to be the main inhabitant of the, of the, the mosaic <coughs> for conscious community and commerce. You guys uh, have been selected to be part of this project, not just on that initial tender. Um, we wanted people that were going to actually be proud of this project and, and help it uh, help with that contribution. So I'm just super excited that everybody's here and we're we're really doing it. Spring in Edmonton. Ground has broken on the site where the Mosaic Center will stand. The early tides of what the Mosaic team hopes will be a tidal wave of innovation that will wash over the entire construction industry. So once Christy and I figured out what we wanted the building to look like, what it meant for us, then we had to go out and we had to find people that wanted to make it real. You can build a sustainable building or you can build a, a beautiful building. You can get those two factors easily, all it takes is money. But the challenge is doing those two things affordably. Our goal is to inspire others to do the same. And if it's not affordable, it's not going to be inspirational to others. It's one thing to dream up a revolutionary structure, but someone has to build it. For building co-owners Dennis Cuckoo and Christy Benoit, that meant finding a contractor with an ideological outlook that would complement their own. We hired three or four contractors and brought them in and asked them not, you know, how many projects have you done this year or what's your profit? Marjorie said, what do you give a shit about? Do you have sustainability as a core value? Do you, do you value health and beauty? Um, and that's how we came across Shandos. Alberta-based construction company Shandos prides itself on seeing things differently in the construction world. Like the Mosaic family of companies, Shandos is employee-owned and interested in the personal side of a project as much as the professional. Shandos, they've been amazing. They've, they've found people inside their own organization that have core values or actually believe in this. Jen Hancock is the Director of Innovative Construction at the Shandos Edmonton office. A teacher by training, Jen brings a unique perspective to construction. And a unique perspective was exactly what the Mosaic Project called for. Dennis sent me an email and, and just said, you know, I want, we're, we're looking at doing this amazing project. It's got sustainability, all these pieces to it. Um, are you interested? And so, of course, I jumped at the chance. We were small enough that it was a big deal for us. It wouldn't be just another project, and I think they knew that I had a real special interest in, in the project and would stay really tied into it. Site Superintendent Chris Fry has worked a myriad of trade jobs across Alberta, giving him a host of hands-on experience and a relaxed confidence that he brings to the job site every day. Having seen construction done a certain way for so long, Chris jumped at the opportunity to be at the helm of a project going a different direction. I first heard rumblings of the Mosaic project. Uh, there was a lot of involvement with uh, a lot of um, my Shandos co-workers. There was a lot of pre-construction that was going into it, so there was a lot of buzz around the office. I've always been, uh, been interested in sustainable buildings, so just the fact that it's a net zero build was, was very interesting, especially for a commercial building, which is, is rare. Mark Moran is the Mosaic Center project manager. Mark studied music at university before getting an engineering degree. Now at Shandos, he has the opportunity to orchestrate richer harmony between the different players on a construction site. A lot of people are just looking for a cheap building um, and they don't care about the operating costs. No one really factors that in. And so I think that's what we're sort of used to here in North America. And it's amazing you know, Dennis came to us and said, yeah, I want to build this building. I think we can do it better than anything else. And we just said, sure, let's try. Why not? The team decided early on that a revolutionary building deserves a revolutionary way of working. 
For Shandos, it was an opportunity to finally attempt a hyper-collaborative process steadily gaining momentum in the construction world. Integrated Project Delivery. The IPD approach aims to put the right people in the room at the right time. The early engagement of trade partners with the design, owner, and contractor team provides the opportunity for a deeper level of collaboration than traditional project delivery. The IPD model also aligns the business interests of the companies involved through risk reward sharing. If the project is delivered ahead of schedule and or under budget, everyone stands to profit on the requisite savings. The reverse of this is also true. This approach naturally incentivizes efficiency and effectiveness. We've been batting around this integrated project delivery for a while. We've been talking about it, thinking about it, trying to be more collaborative in our projects. And like, this is the perfect job for that. We've got an owner who wants to do something different. We really think that this method could be the most efficient and effective. I grew up in general contracting is that we just tell the trades, this is what you're going to do, this is when you're going to do it, I don't care how you get there, I just want you done. And to actually say, hey, let's actually talk to the last guy who's doing the work and let's bring him into the room, let's align him with our goals and as quickly how easy they go, oh yeah, that's the same goals I have, but yeah, let's just do it. How much time do you guys need? If you guys have the whole entire area excavated, What's your gut feel? I'll need like two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah. Okay. The concepts of IPD is really an exciting thing to be a part of, especially um, kind of in its infancy and in definitely in the industry in Alberta. We knew it was risky. It hadn't been done in the market, in the Alberta market before. It had rarely been done in the Canadian market. It, but that, again, that speaks to the company and people's ability to want to try and do something different. The people within the industry know that it's time for change. They understand that, they can see that, and I think a lot of them could sort of see how to do it. They just needed a project to test it out on. At the very core of what's driving me is just my own personal desire to just live a life of purpose and meaning, especially because I do have three children and, um, and I want for them to live happy and full lives. One of the derivatives of courage is knowing that there's a chance that you're going to fail. And that keeps you up in the night sometimes. The team that we've assembled has really held that vision tight and really kept our best interests and each other's best interests in play. Because it's not just me carrying the entire team or Christy carrying the entire team on their back. It's everybody working collaboratively and with a shared vision in mind. By aligning a host of companies who hold similar core values, the Mosaic Center project has galvanized a formidable alliance of pro-sustainability players. The IPD contract, it really puts you in a place to do something, to do exceptional work, to really, you know, raise the bar on how you normally do things, so. So we're good. It's nice to check things off, we're done. Just a matter of the right information being to get put together, the right people being put together, and then we're all sort of focusing on that goal. The success of this job really is going to be on the, uh, the culture that we, we foster here on site. Yeah, it's all about setting a new standard, and I think it's, it's definitely about time, and I feel privileged and pretty fortunate to be a part of it. It was a lot crazier at the beginning when we didn't have the team. I didn't know the players. I didn't know that their hearts were in it. Now that I've had a chance, you know, three or four months, we've had a lot of time together in meetings and even, you know, just having beers together. I get to know these people and I know that they're real. They really do care about the project. They care about where this thing's going and they really do want this legacy project for the city. It's just the right thing to do. And I think everybody's seen that now. The team has their work cut out for them. The Mosaic Center has quickly become a beacon of hope for many in the sustainable building community. But in a global business environment that still predominantly values the bottom line above all else, they're going to have to deliver the building on time and on budget if they want to inspire real change across the industry. <laughs>